Here's a little application that will help you do some uh, chalk and talk type demonstrations on a virtual whiteboard. And uh, I guess the best thing about it is that it doesn't cost a thing. I'm looking at a site called SmoothDraw3. And the application is called SmoothDraw, version 3.2.11. And you'll notice that it's freeware. When I downloaded this, I scanned it for uh, viruses and other malware and it came clean. And you can see that it's gotten all kinds of uh, kudos from uh, uh, various reviewers of this sort of software. So I downloaded it and installed it. It installs fairly quickly and now I'm going to launch it. And as you can see, it, uh, it opens up minimized. The canvas that it draws on is fairly large, so you might find it uh, helpful to zoom it back to 75%. It depends on you, I guess. Um, I think I'll just go ahead and zoom it back to uh, 100% and I'll work with it the way it is and I'll go to the top of the document. What you have here is a palette up at the top of these uh, various uh, tools that you can use. Like for instance, I'm going to select a digital pencil and uh, simply uh, write common phrase which is seen a lot on the web whenever you're experimenting with something. This is a 2B pencil. And so if I were to take 10 and divide it by 2, that would equal 5. And that is about as much math as I know. There's also um, a felt pen that you could use to draw on. You can vary the thickness of the felt pen by reducing it over here so that you can uh, do that kind of thing. Uh, you can also adjust the ink flow. Um, anyway, there are other tools that you could use that uh, do different things. If you want to make butterflies, go across. But I think it wouldn't be much of a stretch to write complex math formulas. And I'm doing this with a little uh, uh, draw pad. And I don't do this a whole lot, but I suppose one who is used to working with the draw pad would find it to be a very, very applicable. Uh, you could then save the document, and it saves uh, as its own sort of a project file. And I haven't exported it yet, but uh, let's say I wanted to do that. Save as. I could choose a, a PNG type of document or a JPEG. So there's uh, plenty of uh, options here uh, for using this to uh, do some chalk and talk. And uh, it's used in combination with uh, perhaps Camtasia Studio or uh, Captivate 6. Or maybe even this software that I'm using right now, if you were intending to make clips of a shorter nature, say uh, three to five minutes. The software I'm using to make this presentation is called Adobe Presenter uh, Video Creator. So. I hope this was helpful.